<laughs> I'll be a good boy forever, I promise. Ooh, lost one! Got a camera, because apparently Dan's got one. I don't know where he's gone. Merry Christmas, thanks <laughs> <laughs> for Thanks for choosing to watch the video. Uh, in this one, we're taking a little bit of a break from the perch fishing and we're actually gonna target grayling. We were out on the river and we were just using classic tactics to target the grayling and that is just sort of like trotting with maggots. Quite keen in this one to just demonstrate that you don't need to spend a couple hundred pound on a float rod or like a few hundred pounds on an expensive center pin reel to enjoy this sort of fishing. I'm just using my standard course fishing stuff, including a fixed ball reel. I'm gonna show you about how I go about it. So let's get out there, get on the bank, go and target some of these beautiful grayling. Yeah, it's a little trout. Makes me think that last one probably was a trout but a big one. There we are, first fish of the day, a little trout. Uh, it's not what we're after, we're after the grayling, so we'll get him back. Another trout. <sighs> Lovely. There we are, another trout, look. See if we can get that grayling. Lovely wild little fish. It's absolutely stunning, what a morning. Mustn't grumble. <laughs> yeah, my morning so far has been about these. <laughs> I must have had a dozen or so of them now. Lovely fish, but really after that grayling. And yet another trout. I was definitely going to have to make some changes if I was going to get through to the grayling. So it was about this point in the session where the trout had me absolutely pulling my hair out. I couldn't get past them. I put the message out um, just on, on, on Messenger or whatever to, to a few people. Sure enough, uh, Mark from Quorum, thank you Mark, came back to me saying, feed less maggots. Um, apparently, if you just keep putting too much, if you feed the swim too much, you can get the trout in an absolute frenzy. Um, and I think that's what I'd been doing. Because as soon as I took on Mark's advice, I started to get through to the grayling. I've had a number of people that have actually contacted me about this style of fishing when targeting the grayling, you know, uh, asking how they can avoid the trout because they really can take over if you're not careful. Yes, feed less as per Mark's advice earlier. I think the other thing is to make sure that you're using quite a heavy olivette and getting down deep. You know, if you're even slightly up in the water, they'll have it. So it's very, very important that you're as close to the bottom, if not just knocking the bottom occasionally, in order to get those grayling. I suspect it's another little trout. It's not. It's my first grayling of the day. Well, after lots of trout, I've got my first grayling. Let's hope they get bigger than this one. Yeah, it is a grayling. <laughs> there we go. Tiny, tiny. 
little grayling. We want bigger than that. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's a grayling that's about, <laughs> but it's about five inches long. Don't laugh, Dan, that's not very. <laughs> yeah, it's got funny now, though, isn't it? Got to get a decent one soon. Loads of trout. Need to get me a decent grayling. I found them. Problem is, they look like gudgeon. <laughs> I don't know. The shoulder of little ones. Yeah, I'm starting to feel it. Alright, got something bigger. Oh, it come off! <laughs> I'll be a good boy forever, I promise. I've done some bad things. Oh, I'm being punished. And at last, signs of hope. We're making progress. Hoping it's the decent grayling that I'm after. Just being very gentle with it, yeah. Get in! Oh! Oh! Whew. Yes, that's the one I'm after. Yes! Time to wait very patiently for him. Ah, uh, they're very wiry. I'm not going to keep him out long. I'll get him back, but I'm really pleased with that. We got the one we're after in the end. Stunning. So that was the first session. Um, now fast forward a few weeks, we are close to Christmas and the conditions had changed quite dramatically. just in case it's the grayling we're after. So look, I'm walking down with it. You'll notice, and it is a grayling. I'm gonna play it gently. So we've only got light lines and little hooks here. Not a monster, but it is a grayling. Thrashing about. Here he comes, there we go. He's in. Much colder today, but second trot down. We've had a lovely grayling. Very, very cold today. Can already feel that it's going to be a bit harder, but going to enjoy being out here. Got another fish on. Nice little trot down. Don't know what it is, but I've been feeding maggots for quite a long time. Feels like it could be another grayling. I always leave my net just a little bit down river because you always end up walking down with them in this faster flow. Ah, oh, it's come off. That was a grayling. Oh, it's just 
just adjusting the drag. Damn! Ooh, lost one! I'm going to try that again on the last one. I sort of fed it and I fed it without fishing it and then I fished it and got a bite straight away. Maybe there's something in that. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put the rod on the floor and I'm just going to feed for five minutes without fishing. That's definitely what happened on that last one. I just fed it while I was doing some camera work. I was just fed it while I was doing that. I can feel straight away. We both said, I'm, I'm here with Dan, and we both said today's going to be harder than when we were last year. It was much warmer. It's frost on the ground, proper cold today. So it's going to be a bit tougher. I'm going to quickly take you through the gear that I'm using. Uh, it's a bit breezy out here, so apologies if it comes out on the mic. The rod I'm using, it's called a grayling seeker. I uh, brought it off Dan actually, because I'm waiting for my glide to come through. It's about 14 foot long, I would say. Uh, on that, I have got uh, Inferno SL 4000 size reel, so a nice big spool. Um, and I know a lot of people use center pins for this sort of fishing. Uh, I've got one of those as well. I think with a wide river, it's quite nice to use a fixed ball. It's just a little bit more versatile, uh, but you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, so yeah, uh, Inferno 4000 size reel, nice false ball. It'll trickle off that, the front of that spool really nicely. You just control it with your finger. Uh, I've got four pound line on the spool coming down to one of the speci sticks. So I would go for one that's about, you know, four or five grams, match that with an Olivet, which I've got here, that's just clamped between two stops. Then what I've got there is like a, a quick change swivel, a tiny little quick change swivel that's already got a little sleeve on it already. And onto that, I've then got a hook length, which is about 10 inches long or so. That's a three and a half pound line. Uh, coming down to a small size 16 hook. Onto the hook, I've either got a single or double red maggot, um, and then I'm just feeding little and often really, and letting it trot down the trot down the water. That might seem like quite a quite a big float, but you know, a, a four or a five gram olivet does seem to be what's needed to get right down in some of this flow, and you do want to get right down. What you do is you just um, send the float down through the swim. Wait until, keep making it deeper and deeper and deeper until it catches the bottom, then shallow it up slightly. And then you know you really are fishing those bottom layers and that's what you've got to hit if you want to get the grayling. Just slightly using one of my fingers to stop the line being completely baggy. So you can do this with a fixed ball. Don't necessarily need a centre pin. In some ways a fixed ball is a bit more versatile. And when you get to the end of the trot, we just bring it in. Feed a few maggots. And do it again. So again, just let the line, Four pan lines are nice and fine, comes off the spool really easily. Just mend it where you have to. When you get a fish, I just clap, I just put my fingers on the spool. Don't close the bail arm, I just put my fingers on the spool and strike, and then I'll put the bail arm over. That was a bite. <coughs> I'm getting some bites, which is good camera because apparently Dan's got one. Let's go and have a look see what he's got. <laughs> Lovely grayling mate. Look at that. What Bug a beauty. Buggers to hold isn't they? What a beauty. I mean that is long. That is long. That's worth a weigh isn't it? Definitely. There we go. Look. Look at that. That's what it's about. What a stunning fish. Stunning mate. Well done. Looks like his tail's been attacked a bit there. Merry yeah. Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's a Christmas <laughs> present. <laughs> Brilliant mate. Well done. Go on, Dan. 
How was that? Lovely fish. Way to go. A Christmas cracker. Right, there's my pouch. Just there, it's got all my maggots in. You definitely need a pouch for this type of fishing. I've had a couple of grayling already, so that's good. One each, just how we like it. I've lost one, which was a little bit annoying, but to be fair, I saw it didn't look that big. Similar size to the one that I've had. That's right down the bottom of the run. It's only a little one, but it is a grayling. Lovely. Well, it's warmed up and so I've taken the jacket off and the Christmas jumper's come out and got another little beauty, not big, not as big as Dan's lovely one that he had just now. But we're having a great time out here and I uh, hope you're enjoying your Christmas. Uh, we certainly are. Going to get this back. See if we can get some more of these beautiful, beautiful grayling. Through here, I think, and then I'm gonna go and find Dan. Feels like these fish have gone off the feed a bit now. What a nightmare! All this time wasted. Getting foul at trout. Fuck that. Been ages playing this foul hook trout. What a nightmare. Foul hook trout. <laughs> Ugh. Fucker. Like I say, sort of once I know it's a trout. And we don't seem to be getting as many of these today. Don't seem to be causing as much of a problem. But they're still there. Uh, I'll keep hunting for another grayling, see if I can get a decent one before the end of the day. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad we're not getting as pestered by these, but still beautiful fish. I'll put them back in the river and let's see if we can get some more grayling. I don't know where Dan's gone. He's grailing and driving him a little bit around the bend. I wouldn't mind, but I've got luxury mince pies and everything. Extra special. I don't know where he's gone. Have you? Decent one? Right. I think best bet is on that corner. Well, I think I'll, I'll do it for a bit and then I'll come back down. But I can't, can't buy a bite anywhere at the moment. Didn't have his Christmas jumper on, did he? Outrageous. And it is tiniest, <laughs> tiniest little grayling. <laughs> Dan's got another one. Went nice on, male dorsal yeah. fin there, look at that. Got a trout on. Got a trout on Dan, I think. Got a trout on, I think. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's come off. Fuck, it was right down. 
right down by the bridge. as well these trout get them into this slow water come on come on come on yep. there he is actually quite a nice one big enough to fill the net but I'm running out of time these days are so short in winter I'm not gonna mess around with cameras and keep going after that grayling <laughs> Something that I have noticed is um, I got quite cold, so I put my jacket on um, and uh, the bites dried up as soon as I covered up the Christmas jumper. And I think there's something in it. So we've got the hat on, we've got the jumper on, we're going all in Christmas because I reckon that's going to get us the big grayling that we're after. <laughs> Seems to be the way that if you feed, stop fishing and feed for five minutes, then first or second trot down, you'll have a bite. However, if you send the float down with the maggots every single time, you don't get the bait. So, I think there's definitely something to be said for just feeding and not fishing. <laughs> and then um, having a go every now and then. Or, or maybe, um, put, no, like this, maybe put it in put some maggots in, but then, whilst it's trotting down, feed some. So that you've not just got one patch with a trap in it all the time. Well, it's been a funny day. Not got the grayling that I'm after, that's for sure. Nice to see Dan get one, he got quite a nice one. Um, not blanked. I've had a couple of grayling, a few grayling actually, three or four, I think. But I've not really got the one that I'm after. Let's be honest. You know, really, we're after two pound pluses, isn't we? Um, I've not got near that today. We have got probably a couple of hours. These these winter days seem so short, don't they? Uh, if you don't hear from me again then it's uh, because we haven't managed to get one at the end of the day uh, maybe clear water and red jumpers don't mix after all There you go that's the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff in the next one we'll probably be back to the perch fishing but until then look after yourselves and be lucky <laughs>